Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to sync Google Sheets with Outlook Calendar in just a few minutes. So in this video we will learn how can you integrate the two applications that is Google Sheets and Office 365 in such a way that if you have collected all your events in your Google Sheet then they will be added in your Outlook Calendar automatically by creating this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. In this automation our trigger will be the new row added in Google Sheet and our action will be to create an event in the Office Outlook calendar in Office 365. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn how to integrate Google Sheets and Outlook calendar within just a few minutes. To create such an automation, we will be using Pabli. So let us quickly sign in into our account so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And from here, we are going to choose Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on Access Now given under Pabli Connect and then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as How to Sync Google Sheets with Outlook Calendar. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. We will have two windows, Trigger and Action. Now before we move ahead with the creation of the workflow, make sure that you have opened your already prepared Google Sheet like I have it over here. Appointments is the name of my Google Sheet. Here I have given the column name as name, email address, the date and time of the appointment and the counselor's name from with which the meeting has been or the appointment has been set. So this is the Google Sheet that you want to prepare and then you will have your Outlook calendar also ready. So like we have created an appointment over here, this can be done automatically. So let us proceed with understanding the functioning of the trigger and action. So the trigger window is for the first application where the event will take place, which will trigger this workflow and the action application then will perform its assigned action. For example, we have the trigger application here as Google Sheets because the event that is going to take place is the addition of any new content over there. So choose your application as Google Sheet and the event as new or updated spreadsheet row. So whenever a new row is added or this row is updated, like already prepared row is updated, then it will trigger the workflow and further the action application that will be Outlook. So an event will be created over there. Now Pabli Connect provides us with this webhook URL which is used to connect your trigger application and your Pabli Connect. In what way? That whenever this is updated over here, so this information can be fetched by Pabli Connect as a response right here. So let us learn how to use Pabli Connect webhook URL. Go to your appointments page and then fill in the details. Like over here I have name, email and name of the counselor already filled. Now the date time I have left empty for now just to show you that what is the format of the date and time that we are going to enter over here. Remember every time whenever you are using any calendar application. So over here we need the date and time in a specific format. As I already know I must tell you that there is a format for the date and time for Outlook calendar as well. So if the date is going to be this year or any month and date so that format of the date is going to be first of all the year then hyphen then you have to enter the month. So let's say the month is May. And then we have to enter the date. So let's say the date is 15. Once this is done, enter capital T and then enter the time. So if there is no specific time, then you can leave it to 000. But if there is a time of the appointment, then you can make the time as the hour, colon, the minute, colon, and the seconds. Like this, this is the format that we will be needing. And I have set this format going to the format number and as a plain text. So whenever Pabli Connect fetches this information, this format will not be changed. It will be taken or captured as the plain text format. Now, once this is done, we will proceed with the using of the webhook URL. So we will go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and then in the get add-ons section, you have to search for a Pabli Connect webhook add-on. So in the search bar type Pabli Connect webhooks, this is the add-on that you need to install. I have already installed it. And once you are done with the installation, you will find it in the menu itself. Go to Pabli Connect webhooks in extensions. Click on initial setup and then you will enter the webhook. So let us go back to our Pabli Connect workflow, copy this webhook URL, come back and paste it right here in the webhook URL section. The trigger column over here is the last updated column. So we have the name, email, date, time and the name of the counselor, which means we have the trigger column as B. So this is the column. This is the last column that is updated in our sheet. Click on submit. So yes, the setup configured successfully. Now we will send a test because here it's waiting for a response and we will be receiving the response of the first row that has been updated in our Google Sheet. We will receive the response over here in no time and here is the response. So here you can see the, these are the information that we were having over there in our Google Sheet. 
One more thing that is left is go back to extensions, publicly connect web books, and click on send on events, which will make sure that every time a new row is updated, it will be sent to publicly connect to capture the response. Now, once this is done, we are going to use this information to create an event in our Outlook calendar. But for that, we need to have an end date also of the appointment. So first of all, we will put the date time formatter as our application in our action application window. This is a feature that is built inside Pabli and it is used to format the date and time as per your requirement. So we will choose over here add or subtract time. We are going to assume that the appointment is going to be for two hours. So click on connect. No separate way of connection because this feature is built inside Pabli. Enter the date. So we will take the date over here from this. This is the date that you have mapped. Now what is the expression you want? You can read the help that's given below over here. Plus one month, minus two days, minus one day, or plus eight hours. Any way that you want. We want plus two hours. Okay, so we want to add two hours to this timing that we have provided. Now, what is the format? The format over here is this one. This is the existing format of our date. Now we are going to not change the format. The format is going to be the same. So to and from format will not change. Just set it to the one that we already have. Click on save and send test request. And here we have the added time. It's 14.30. We have 12.30, which means 14.30 is 2.30. So two hours has been added to this. Click on save and you have saved this step. So we have the start date and end date as well. Now we will proceed to our last step that is choosing your Microsoft Office calendar. So our application is going to be Microsoft Office 365. And the event over here, you will search in the search bar as create event and calendar. Connect your applications. Add new connection, connect with Microsoft Office 365. It will automatically detect because I mentioned earlier that you have to open your Outlook calendar in a separate tab. Just click on yes and give access to Pabli Connect. And it's successful. The applications are connected now. Now you're supposed to fill a little bit of details that are generally required to create a event. So over here, first of all, you will choose the calendar. So I have already created a calendar name that is events from sheets. Okay, you can create your own calendar from here. See, you have all these calendar. You can click on add calendar and create your own calendar. Now I have chosen this calendar. So only this calendar will be, will be visible to us. Now we go back to our workflow and add the subject. So what was the subject? The subject was appointment. Okay, now we have the content type that is plain. The content is that the appointment is with which person. So we have counselor named Dr. Demo. Okay. Now this is the counselor's name. What is the start date? We have already the start date over here in our Google Sheet, but we were having the end date in the date time format. So you're going to take the date, end date from there. Now the reminder is that the reminder will start before that specific time that you are going to enter over here. Like if I enter over here 30, so it's only for minutes. So the reminder for this appointment will go 30 minutes before the start date and time that is given over here. Now the importance is normal. We have no location given, but we have the name of the person. So you can enter the name and map it from the Google Sheet. This is the name of the person. We also have the email address. So you can also enter the email address right here. We have already given the date. We have named the email and the counselor's name also. So we have entered all the details over here. No, nothing is left. So click on save and send test request. And now we will wait for the response from Outlook. So we have the response right here. The response has been received, which shows no error over here. So the event has been created. So let us close this window and go back to our Outlook to check that have we created an event or not. So here is our Outlook and here we have on 16th of May, that is the event that we have created. You open it, you can see, yes, this is the appointment that has been created before zero minutes, which means it's created recently. Now, which means that our workflow has been a success. So the trigger application we were having was Google Sheet. We updated the time and the name and the email and all the details of the person for the appointment. We just added an end time over here. And then we created an event in the calendar of your Microsoft Office 365. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.